if you leave your time and your diary to complete randomness and reactionary things, you are stealing from your future business and self. And this week's episode 175 is going to help you stop doing exactly that. Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 175 of my TV. And this week's episode is going to be one of those that I want you to implement straight away. It's a short, snappy one because the impact of getting time to focus on the, I talk about the fun stuff a lot, but to focus on the really good needle moving stuff is so crucial to you and what you want to achieve. I speak to lots of um, clients, business owners, every single week and lots of people have exactly the same problems and I'll just say you need to take solace in that like the things that you're thinking about now at home that are um, or in the office or wherever you might be watching this that are, are weighing you down getting on getting on your nerves making you feel like you're not making any progress I can guarantee that millions of other business owners are thinking of the same thing if there's one thing you learn it's we all have the same issues just in slightly different sizes ways problems but we've all got them so um but Ultimately, one of the biggest things that gets talked about all of the time is that I just don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to achieve what I want to do or things within the business you don't have enough time or things outside of the business you don't have enough time to do. And every, in most instances, when we when we talk about this kind of problem of not having enough time, and it's quite woolly and grey because obviously, I mean, even me included, there are days where do am I the most productive? Have I really scheduled my diary in the best way? No, like it's not it's not happening every single day. But in those instances where I'll be talking with a with a business owner and we'll look at their calendar or diary, the diary is like there is nothing in there that is blocked out a, a, an appointment with themselves, nothing at all that becomes a date with themselves to get distraction free time to focus on the important stuff and it's weird because um i feel like a lot of a lot of businesses that we work with are driven by things they have to do for customers so they that will go in the diary and that's almost considered the 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 most important thing which it is because that's how we make money and get paid but the the fact of planning in time for you as the business owner to think and breathe and do the right things to either make sure you get to finish on time or make sure you get more clients or to make sure you've got enough leads coming in. That kind of, in a lot of cases, not every single case, gets forgotten about. So if I was to look at your calendar next week and if all it is is either a collection of like customer driven things or calendar appointments from other people inviting you to things. If there's nothing in there to show that you're spending time on the most important things, whether that's, I mean, in everybody's business, it's, it's probably completely different. I feel like a lot of us are mainly focused on getting enough clients coming in, but whether that's marketing or connecting with existing customers or ringing old customers that haven't bought from you maybe it's creating some processes so that your virtual PA or um, member of the team can do something consistently well and it's something that's going to be taken off you that's like a really good use of time to to get things off you and make sure they're done well just create a little process or a video but just that that very notion of the things that are going to make your life easier things you want to do things you want to focus on like you know I've said for the longest time and it's coming up now in February, but I'm going to write the book. And each time it hasn't been a good time for me to write the book because I've had, I've wanted to focus my intentions elsewhere. And I was lying to myself because I didn't actually have the time booked out in the diary. Now come February coming up, there is time every single day to write, just to write, just to like to get into the flow of it. But if I was to look at your calendar next week and all it is is reactionary stuff, I know that whatever it is you really want to do or achieve or the things you know you're good at or you want to progress, if there's not time in the diary, you you like you are lying to yourself, you're not gonna get it done. And so my 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 notion this week is about your calendar is most often a reflection of where you are spending your time. And if there is nothing in there, so like in my calendar every morning from eight till nine thirty, I have Emma's uh, 90 minutes do not disturb so that like that's just in there and most of my team can see my calendar so they'll know that I'm just my phone's off and um, teams is off everything is off I'm not replying to anything I'm not replying to emails at that time and if you don't have 
it may not be the right time for you. It may just be the evening you do that. But if you don't have something planned in to get things done, it isn't going to get done. We have a client who um, ultimately was overrun by their inbox and they spent all day in it reacting and responding to things. And it was it was kind of warranted because a lot of their work came through the inbox, like a, all of their orders, inquiries, like that was the method of communication. But he, as the business owner, was in there all day consistently responding to that. He's now got support from us in that we now manage that and he gets an end of the day summary in the key things he has to do tomorrow. And he does those things first. And he's no longer just reactionary in his inbox. He's actually switching his stuff off in the morning, getting the stuff on, coming back online. Now, that's just a, 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 an example of how we help one client do that. But And I know it's not completely, you know, if you're out in a van all day doing whatever you do or you're with customers uh, in, in a session during the day, everybody's calendar is slightly different, but please look at your calendar for February, does it reflect where you should spend your time, where you would need to spend your time to make February the most successful yet? So I hope this helps you get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. Please, please, please take a look at your calendar and, and as a bare minimum, look at where you could schedule an hour in. No distractions, no phone calls, get them diverted, no notifications, just to focus on what you really need to. And I then will see you much more liberated next week for episode 176. See you then. Bye-bye.